Next step in our 200 hour maintenance journey here is going to be checking the air filter. Find that right here under the hood. Open that up. And it's a <clears throat> canister style filter located right here on the uh, passenger side of the machine. So our air filter housing right here on the passenger side of the machine. Uh, just unclips right up here. Another one in the back. Notice there's a little breather valve on the bottom here, and that's facing down. That's pretty important. Oh boy. We're a little past due on this one. Okay. Yikes. Got a lot of uh, seeds I've picked up that sucked right in there. It's like grass seed and such, so. get my air hose out and we'll get this cleaned off. You gotta check the little flap on this thing because you can get, you see there's like a leaf. I guess it comes right off of there. So be sure to clean out that exhaust valve there. That will get some debris in there. When I went to get my parts, they talked me into this air comb. It's a half inch Kubota air comb, basically. It's got some little bitty holes along the side coming out at 90 degrees and it's designed for cleaning canister style air filters. So this will be my first time using it. Let's give it a shot. air comb. Even got a little arrow to tell you where the holes are. Just five little holes. Um, good pressure. I'm, I'm really happy with this thing. Well there's two different screens here to protect your two radiators and it's not really part of the hundred hour service. It's more of a just periodically you can check it more often than that. I'm just going to blow off all these pieces of grass seed and shrub that filled up. It's really not too bad compared with how the coolest is going to go.
think this air comb was a pretty good buy. It, uh, it's all aluminum, seems well made, well enough anyway. And it did a really good job blowing between these pleats and getting all that dust out of there. So it'll help my canister air filter last a long time. And it also did a good job. How's it going to get behind the radiator? Um, it actually worked on the screens better than the regular air nozzle too because you get that sort of brush effect going across it. So I'm happy. Now that we're all cleaned out, we just have to put that air element back in and make sure it's seated all the way. Get our cap back on, make sure that this exhaust port is facing down. In fact, I think it even tells you that somewhere. Oh yeah, right there. Top. Bottom. So, important details. Oops, clip out of the way. And clip both sides. But you gotta be in the right position when the clip's making it in. There you go. That's where the air goes in. That's where it goes to the engine. And this is where crud can build up and hopefully not jam up the air filter.